what's up guys we are here in the kitchen uh, we're gonna do a little defrost clean and cook well no cleaning parts already done that's the joy of having a deep freezer uh, we got gray squirrel from back in November and it's already pre-seasoned uh, it's quartered up like super easy ready to go it's just deciding on how I want to cook it so what I decided to do was take my Good old Seth McGinn's here, uh, can cooker. And, you know, it's kind of predetermined how much pressure is on your food there. I don't know what the ratio is or the, the numbers are, but I think it'll be safe to use it for a deep fryer, like a, a pressurized deep fryer the way they do like chicken at, um, I don't know, down here we got Maryland fried chicken. I think they do it under pressure. And I know when Dixie does, they got a huge pot that they do it in. And it, you know, cooks it quickly but uh, doesn't let the moisture come out of the, the meat. Because if you deep fry something, a lot of times it's just pulling the moisture out. That's what makes it kind of bubble up in the oil. So let's see what they look like here. Oh, they smell so good already. Oh, those are going to be good. Like I said, I split them right up the back. That's the back left side there. Other leg would have been here. Front leg's up there, head. So look at that, tons of meat, not wasting anything. It's like giant chicken legs here, chicken wings. Turn my double burner here on. Let's just use it all. Some good old fashioned vegetable oil. All right, so we got our oil preheating. Um, let's get this flour out of here. If you just dump it, flour goes everywhere. If you roll it, boom. You're welcome. Oh, these are gonna be good. Super excited about this. I don't think I've fried squirrel ever. Um, I've smoked them. I've done them on the grill. I kind of like uh, broiled them and made like dumplings. But I don't think I've ever deep fried squirrel. Just haven't taken the time to. I figured they're so little, you know. This was a good hunt. I can't remember. I think I did it with uh, the Mike French, Florida Woodsman. All right, we dredged these really good. We're going to wait for that oil to heat up. And we'll be right back to drop them in. While we're waiting on that to heat up, I just wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to Trevor over at Florida Lead Slingers Outdoors. Um, I come home today, it's pouring rain. Um, actually, let me show you. <laughs> I was able to just pop that box open because it was pouring rain and uh, the USPS decided to just leave it right there on the front door, which, I mean, they don't really have too many places to leave it, but it got soaked. Luckily, nothing inside got ruined, because Trevor sent me a new action camera so that I could get multiple angles on stuff uh, while I'm filming. I've been struggling with that, having one GoPro right now. I did just buy this mount for my phone. Right now, I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro um, on a tripod. I just, the video on it's amazing. It's just really hard to use it while I'm out in the field. So, um, one of our guys on the pro staff team uh, started using these here and Trevor took it upon himself to buy everybody one. So I thought that was a really stand up thing to do. Um, he's done nothing but show us love uh, from the minute we got on the team here. Um, he even sent some coasters, Radical, and uh, boom, more stickers. And check that out. I do think that's uh, one of the last few you'll be able to get like that. We have a few different new styles coming out. Um, he sent us shirts, dude. This guy's amazing. Y'all go check him out. We're waiting on this oil to heat up. Um, it's probably about halfway there right now. So we'll catch you guys uh, in just a minute or two, and we'll start dropping these bad boys in and get them ready to eat. Oil is good and hot. So we are going to start dropping these in. Oh, yeah. Alright. 
I'm not really worried about them like touching each other and all that because I'm, I'm really just trying to get them all in there so I can pressure cook all at the same time. I don't want to wait like 15, 20 minutes in between each batch. Being that they're so lean, that's why I wanted to use the oil. Give them a little fat. I'm gonna work them all down in the oil. Oh, pretty much there. Turn that down just a hair. Right, let's take a peek at these. Oh, they smell good. probably still really hot. Uh, it's only been a minute or two since we took them out. Just got a little ranch and sriracha here. I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. I don't even usually eat anything on wings, so I'm not a big wing person. Let's try it plain. Super hot. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say they're probably not as tender as I thought they would be, but I mean, it's not chicken either, so. Not that bad. Let's dip that little corner in there. Pretty good actually. Ooh, man, they're just hot. I don't know if they needed more time or less time, so I have to try to figure that out over this next small game season. Mmm. No, they're good. I think it's just the tendons in there, in between the joints. No gamey flavor, no nothing like that. I mean, I like squirrel anyway. I've been eating it for a long time, so. Mm. That's good. It's like a cross between like fried rabbit and chicken. So if you like rabbit, you're gonna love fried squirrel. And I'm sure a million of y'all have like, tried this and already knew what was up, but for me it was really a first, so. I, I love fried rabbit. I um, just never really took the time to fry squirrel, like I said. Mm. Ooh. Super hot. <laughs>